taste at the moment. Perhaps I will come back later and release it in a different way. <laughs> I'll see you later again. Sure did. 
And boy, did we have fun spending that money. <laughs> you bought that stroll that day, didn't I you? I did. <laughs> we should do it again. Mm, Great I fun. Except this time you must spread it faster. <laughs> well. Like such a cautious driver, I have to say. I've never known anyone to be so cautious and slow moving. Yes. I've never been in an accident while well, behind the wheel. In my experience, her hands can be quite jerky. Who <laughs> <laughs> said you loved that? <laughs> well, it was a stick shift she's driving, I <laughs> see. <laughs> can only help jerking about just a little bit. <laughs> Can't keep it in neutral always. <laughs> I don't think I was the one driving that car that night. My re recollection was when we left that bar, you were behind the wheel. Well, your and recollection then, wasn't very good. When I woke up, I had been placed behind the wheel. <gasps> That's ridiculous. You are strong, sister. You can move me easily with those thick arms of yours. <laughs> and me so light and delicate. And was it jealousy that drove you to hit Clyde? Jealousy? Jealousy? Over Clyde? Why, that little nerd? He was sweet, but not my type. I like them mustached. <laughs> <laughs> If you hate me so much, why are you still in my hotel room tonight? I was curious, dear sister. And believe it or not, it occurred to me that maybe this party could be a way for us to, to make, make up with each other. To, to maybe put it behind us since we can't agree about poor Clyde. But no. No, then I find out that you, you want me gone for good. There's no chance for reconciliation now. What was that odd, bizarre man, the hotelier, telling you? He told me just what I've always known, that you're jealous of me because of my great looks and, and intelligence and success. I think that man's been playing a game this whole night, setting us against each other. Why would he do that? I think we're all a bit on edge because the game, which can feel shockingly real at times. Perhaps you two should turn into your rooms and leave me and my wife to our peace. Fine. It's too much drama for me for one night, I must say. Sweet dreams. Yes. <laughs> Try not to walk. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Elizabeth, I didn't like the way that you and Roger were looking at each other just now, and frankly, the entire night. I don't know what you mean. I wasn't looking at him any differently than I look at anybody else. I know the way you look at me, and it was the same way you were looking at him. <laughs> just in your imagination, dear. I thought we were going to have a child, and yet you seem very resistant to us pushing closer to that goal. Once we have a child, we can't play these games anymore. Are you really ready to give it up? Elizabeth, I, I think we have something special. Every, ever since that night in the fridge together. <laughs> and you said, is there a banana in the door? Are you happy to be in there? <laughs> but I'm starting to have real doubts. I need a drink. My last one was ruined. I'm going to the bar. If only I was alone with Roger tonight, this would have turned out very differently. Well, I do. You do what? 
You said, if only you were alone with Roger tonight. Or did I completely mishear you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but if I said that, your answer was, will I do? Oh, I see. Will you do? What the hell are we talking about? <laughs> Nathan, can I be perfectly clear with you? I wish for once you would. <laughs> Earlier, I was not joking about wanting to murder someone. I know that. Roger has been making passes at my wife for quite a long time. Your wife returns the interest. <coughs> I fear losing her. She hates your mustache. <laughs> I can shave it, I just, I need her, Nathan. When I was with her sister, I was just doing it because well, I was approaching 30, and <laughs> you know how that is for men. <laughs> but with her, something, something so intangible exists between us, this fire, this electricity. I couldn't live without it. What a pathetic man you are. <laughs> that was mean, voice in my <laughs> And here she is across from a, a man who has so much wealth in a flat in Manhattan. I can't help but feel jealous. Don't you realize that she's only with you because her first boyfriend died in that horrible car crash? Don't you know that if he still lived now, she would be happily wed to him and the mother of three proud, bouncing baby boys like you could never give her? No, I, I want to think that, but I do think. My God, you're pathetic. <laughs> what am I supposed to do when she has her eyes on another man? I should kill him and put him out of <laughs> All of our misery. Well, if only he would leave the room for a brief moment. <laughs> but I don't know how he could possibly leave the room in this state of emotional angst. I imagine it won't happen. I should go speak to Roger at once. All right. <laughs> I think he needs to leave further away. <laughs> Which room was it again? The one that's really out of earshot. <laughs> well, how about this? We'll take this waste paper basket and we'll put it right over here. Then we'll take three pieces of paper and crumple them up like balls. Remember when we used to go to the carnival voices in my head when I was only a child? And remember how you would have to throw balls into a hoop in order to win a freaking little teddy bear? <laughs>
he won't know if he needs to get one in or miss them all in order to live. So, voices in my head, you Money. lovely voice. I was talking to the lovely voice next to you. <laughs> will I kill him if he gets one in, or will I kill him if he misses all three? If he misses all three. If he misses all three, I will kill him. <coughs> if he gets just one in at any point in the game, he lives. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 My life sucks. <laughs> if only he'd come back soon. voice in my head, I forgot which one you said. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. yes. <laughs> well, Nathan, I went over there and the door was locked and I tried to barge in, but I could not. You know what I do whenever I'm feeling deep angst and grief and fear and resentment towards life? You drink that milk over there. <laughs> no, I throw wadded up pieces of paper into a waste paper basket. It always helped me feel better. Would you like to try? I suppose it could help. This Come reminds here. me of my wife and I trying to have kids for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, they're all dead, aren't they? <laughs> Where do I stand? Right over here. Were these from my briefcase? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> did she take a few practice shots? Then? No, she did. <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about. You never will. <laughs> take your time. It's better that way. You know, I used to play stickball my friends out in the local field. I don't care. <laughs> I was the pitcher. I'll bet. One at a time? Please. <clears throat> Under or over? Your call. <laughs> Shall I go again? By all means. That one would be a screwball normally. I still don't care. <laughs> Vincent. Ah, Roger. I came here to see you, of course. 
good lad. Uh, roger, some... roger, roger. Please, sit down. I should tidy up. Were you trying to write something and couldn't get your mind clear? Oh, something like that. How about pouring your friend a drink? Oh, yes, yes, of course. <clears throat> you know, it's been a while since we've caught up, Roger. It has. Is there a lucky lady in your life? Well, as a matter of fact, not at the very moment, no. Oh, no? I thought I saw some chemistry tonight. Really? With who? Though there was only the few of us here, I think it was quite obvious. I want to sleep with Elizabeth, your wife. <laughs> <laughs> I had my eye on her the first moment I met her, actually. I've been holding it inside for a long time, but I, we both, suspect the same, do we not? You know, I have been suspecting that, Roger. Please, drink your drink. I intend to do that very thing. Enjoy it. Join me for one. How about this? A toast to honesty. Something that you and I are not afforded at all times being attorneys, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll keep that between us. Oh, this tastes wretched. Uh oh. <laughs> Is that a toy? <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> oh, that's part of the murder game. <laughs> Is that part of the murder game? What are you doing? Move him. 
before she awakens. That's a wonderful idea. Oh. Oh. Ha, ha, ha.